Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So to, today let us see the part 8 of the same topic. In that you have in your book you can see there are objective type questions. So we are going to solve the objective type questions and they are in the form of fill in the blanks. But in objective type questions even if it is in the fill in the blanks, we have to solve it. So I will show you how to do it. So now see here a right angle is divided into two angles in the ratio 3 is to 7. The measure of the angles will be dash and dash. So you know the right angle, this is 90 degree. So the two angles, the ratio is given 3 is to 7. So what will you do here? Sum of angles is 90 degree. So what will you write? Like the angles will be 3x and 7x. So 3x plus 7x is going to be 90 degree. So what will you write here? 10x is 90 degree. So x is going to be, now look at here, this will be 90 divided by, this will be 10. So x is going to be 9. So x is 9. So the first angle, what do you write here? 3x. So 3x is going to be 3 into 9. That is going to be 27. And this we have considered 7x. So 7x is going to be 7 into 9. That is going to be 63. So what will be your answer? 27 and 63. So your answer should be 27 and 63. Now look at this problem here. If 1000 is to x is equal to 2 is to 25, the value of x is we have to write. So now here what you can see here, product of this is the you have seen in the, you must have seen the previous exercises. This is the product of extremes is equal to product of means. So what will you write here? 1000 into 25 is, what is that? Product of means means 2 into x. So now what will you write here? 1000 into 25. This 2 will come here. This will get divided is equal to x. So this should be 2 ones are 2, 500 that is going to be 1000 so 500 into 25 so what is that going to be 500 into 25 so 25 5 is a 125 and this two zeros so that is going to be this is given sorry this is not uh, 25 this is actually given as 2.5 sorry this is not 25, but this is 2.5. This is 2.5 and not 25. So let me correct it, sorry. This is 2.5. So again, I'll do it. This will be 1000 into 2.5 will be x into 2. So 1000 into 2.5 divided by 2 is x. So 2 ones are 2 500. Sir. So 500 into 2.5 so 25 is a 125 and two zeros and there is a decimal after one number is a decimal so you'll put a decimal over here so the answer is 1250 so x is 1 2 5 0 now here a motorcycle travels with a speed of 54 kilometer per hour so its speed in meter per second will be what so now we have seen that to convert from kilometer per hour to meter per second we have to multiply by 5 by 18 so what will you do here so 54 multiply by 5 by 18 so this will be 18 ones are 18 threes are so this is going to be 15 meter per second Hope this is clear. So the speed in meter, this will be, we can write here 15. Or you also write a meter per second, but already it's given here speed in meter per second. So you can just write 15 also. So a car travels at a speed of 40 km per hour. In eight hours, it will cover the distance. So now what will you do here? The speed is given. Now you know the formula. Speed is equal to distance by time. So now speed is given as 40. 
So now here, we don't know the distance. We'll keep the distance as it is. And the time is given as A. So what will you do? This you will multiply. So that is going to be 40 multiplied by A. So that is going to be 320 because the distance is 320. So that is in kilometer. So you can write here 320 kilometer. Now here, Manish cycles at the speed of 5 meter per second. The distance he will cover in 2 hours. So now this actually is given. This is in meter per second and this is in hours. So this, will, this should be in seconds. So what I, you will do here, 1 hour is 3600 seconds. So we need 2 hours. 2 hours will be 2 into 3600. So that is going to be 7200 seconds. So this is very important step. So then what will you do? You will do your speed is equal to distance by time. I'll just write in short. What is the speed given? Speed is given as 5. So what is the distance given? Distance we don't know. And the time is 7200. That is what we got here. So this you will multiply. So it will be 5 into 7200. That is going to be the distance. So what will be that? 72 fives are. So this is going to be 360 and this two zeros. So it will be 36,000. So here you can write here, this will be 36,000. That will be 36, because here the answer is given here. This will be in, because they have asked for the meter. So this will be in, meter so then we can also convert this one if they want in uh, this is in uh, this we got it in meter and if they want it in kilometer so what will you do here one meter is one kilometer is one thousand meter is one kilometer you can write here so it is easy to do the, this one calculation so 3600 so this will be 3600 divided by this 1000 so this will be these two zeros get cut off actually this was 36000 and not 36 here Yes, it was the answer was 36,000 before. So here, what will you get here? Third, again, I'll write it. 1,000 meter is equal to 1 kilometer. So 36,000 meter will be 36. When you cross multiply this one, so it is going to be 36,000 divided by 1,000. So that is going to be 36 kilometer. They haven't told here whether you have to write it in meters and or kilometer, but I give you both the answers. So now here, Reshma can type 960 words in 48 minutes. So her typing speed is dash words per minute. So now what we can write here, this is 960 words in 48 minutes. So in 48 mi minutes, typing this will be words will be 960 words. So in one minute will be how much? So what will you do? 1 into 960. So 960 divided by 48. So what will you do? Your 48 twos are 96. So that is going to be 20 words we can say per minute. Because this will be 2 and this will be 0. So that will be 20 words per minute. So you can write here 20. Now here the third proportional to 8 and 12. See it is the third proportional. So now what will you write here? You have the, this one A is to B is equal to B is to C. For the third proportional we will use this one. So now this C is the third proportional. So what we will write here? Here the A is, this is A and this is B. So what will you write here? A is to 12 is equal to 12 is to 
now we don't know that is here will be we can consider this third proportional as x then we'll follow that rule that is the product of extreme is equal to product of means so what will you write here 8 into x is going to be 12 into 12 so x is going to be 12 into 12 divided by 8 so this will be 4 2 za 4 3 za 2 1 za and 2 6 za so 6 into 3 that is going to be 18 hope this is clear so i'll just take a pause here so this is going to be the answer is going to be 18. Now here, if x is to 9 is equal to 8 is to 12, then what is x? So now what is this product of extremes is equal to product of means. So now what will you write here? x into 12 is equal to 9 into 8. So we can write here x is going to be 9 into 8 divided by 12. So this will be 3 4s are and 3 3s are, 4 1s are and 4 2s are. You can simplify any way, whichever way you feel easy. So the answer 3 2s are, that is going to be 6. So this answer is 6. Now if 14 is to 18 is equal to x is to 27. So now we want the value of x. So x again you will do your product of extremes is equal to product of means. So I will write it what is that product of extremes this is the formula is equal to product of means so what is the product of extremes means 14 into 27 is 18 into x so 14 into 27 divided by 18 is equal to x so 9 twos are 9 threes are 2 ones are 2 sevens are so 7 threes are that is going to be 21 so we can write here 21 this is the answer so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts thank you